Hi loves, welcome to my channel, This Mama Loves Disney. So my share for today is um, these little mirrored pouches and these little coin purses that I ended up putting together. Um, I ended up following a tutorial, which I will link the tutorial down below um, so that you all can follow it. Now, uh, the person that I followed was put some bling on it, who is Natalie. Hey, Natalie. So Natalie, hers are so much cuter, I'll tell you guys right off the bat. She had ordered online um, some Easter print, and um, she also put um, a little charm on it. I still have yet to decide if I want to put charms on it or not. But when I was making them, I decided to do small ones and make little coin purses as well. So I want to point out something that I did not realize. So I at Hobby Lobby, I bought the faux leather. I got this beautiful ombre rainbow color because I thought it was really pretty. And I did buy purple and blue mirrors. So I thought it would be pretty. Well, upon opening it, didn't realize it was canvas on the inside. Okay, so it's a canvas on this inside, whereas the inside of these mirrored ones are like a soft material. I don't know what material it is, but it's soft. Okay, so um, this would be the material that you'd probably want to get. It's more like a soft, really flexible kind of um, material. And it has the like this cotton material on the inside, or maybe it's a polyester, I have no idea. It's just very soft. And so you probably need that. And then another thing I wanted to point out, I ended up using Fabri-Tac for it. Natalie did use hot glue. And when I used the Fabri-Tac, I did use these little clips that are from Dollar Tree. I had got some cardboard and I cut it so that one cardboard piece would go on one side and the other cardboard piece would go on the other side and then you would just put it on here to hold it so that there wouldn't be any imprints from these little clips on there, okay? And then of course I used my little button um, or my snap, my little snap uh, tool, okay? And so I have ones that I made into coin purses. And the reason why I, once I realized that these were not going to work for the mirrors, I just made them into coin purses. Now, the Dollar Tree mirrors that I picked up, upon looking at them, they look like they would be um, smooth. They are not. Um, they're glittered. And I know Dollar Tree now has ones with like a little image on it that you could possibly use that are smooth, but um, I don't know if this is the best idea, but I did them anyway. And they have the glitter that kind of just like comes off a little bit. I was so bummed out. I thought about spray painting them, but I didn't want to take the sheen away from it. Even if you use glossy, it still kind of takes the sheen off of it. So I, you know, I'll still end up gifting them because I thought they were really adorable and people can keep them inside their craft room because we do, you know, sometimes if you're um, working on your our videos, a lot of people will show their face so they can also just like turn it over to look at their face um, to make sure they're presentable for their um, videos. But, um, and I don't know if I mentioned, but Natalie did put a little cute little charm on it, which you could do as well. I just figured if it was going to be in your purse, um, there's that possibility that that charm can snag on something and kind of tear the fabric. So I didn't put the charms on. But for all, I mean, a lot of us, we can also just, you know, punch a hole in there. You could put an eyelet in there and then just add a charm. And if you're going to decide to keep it in your craft room. So I just figured I would leave that idea to the crafter because most of my friends that I'm that I usually send stuff to already have those kind of tools in their um, stash. So yeah. But that is my share for today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and I appreciate it. And like I said, I'll link Natalie's channel down below so that you can follow her tutorial. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye guys.